Hi boardies, welcome to Mass Games. Today I'm bringing you a how to set up, play and review of the game Metro X, the rail and write game. This is a flip and fill game. There are other flip and fill games that exist. Other ones include Second Chance, uh, Ripple Rush and Quix, the family card game. So apart from say Quix, I just wanna show you what these other games look like. So you have a rule set there, which I've shown in the preview already. You have these double-sided boards, and I'm now gonna show you what you're gonna be doing. Aim of the game is to get the most points. You're getting points by being the first person to reach these stations, and also get some points based on where you have transfers, finding negative points where you have anything that you haven't filled in, and you're going to get your total. You have a pack of cards here. I've deliberately left these out. And I've got a card here that shows you penalties. So however many you have left over at the end, it's going to show you how many points you take off. Just please note, it has a minus, but you're just putting in the value there because you have a negative symbol there. As a little card telling you what you can do in your turn, I'll leave it visible, but to be honest, I'll be telling you that anyway. And I'll leave this in shot too for when we get onto the scoring. So going to take a pen each, so it's up to six players. You could play with more, with more boards. I'll leave all the boards visible here. So you have various cards. You have cards such as these regular ones, these threes. And what you'll be doing is from a leftmost position, you're going to take a number, take the number, write it into the leftmost carriage space and go one, two, three. So what I'll do is... Um, so I don't have to do it too fast. Do you know what I will do though? I'm gonna pick which one I'll do. So we'll start doing it straight away. I'll pick three here and go here. If you both happen to reach here at the same time in a multiplayer game, you go there first. Oh, I didn't know there was another number there. So I'll just shuffle these up. Then you might then do something such as a five. And what this means again is you're going to draw exactly five things. So in this case, I'll just do here. One, two, three, four five as you can see this is a game by game right this is a modern or newer version of the game i've played which is in a smaller box but you have to use paper and stuff like that so a transfer is very handy for me here a transfer means you go to the first empty space and you're going to write a number in which is the amount of color of train lines that go through it times two so this would give me a two which isn't very good whereas down here I put an x here because you always put an x you do, you have one line, two lines, three lines, four lines. I think that's it. One, two, three, four. So I write four in here. Four times two is eight. So I write eight. And as you can see, if I went even higher, it would be even better. So I'm getting eight points. Now I do say, I recommend you put like a square or something because you're trying to find out those numbers hidden amongst the X's. So now you go again. And this time we've got a three. So looking where I have things, I'm going to stick it here. And the game ends once every single square has been used up. There are some times where you can't go on a thing, so you just mark it off. Now we have a skip card. It might not be used me, useful for me right now, but um, I will start putting stuff in, and you'll see what happens as we progress. So just for now, um, it'll basically let you skip over things. I'm sure it's going to come up later on. It's almost guaranteed. It basically means if you had an X here for some reason, you could do one here and one there. But by playing this as a playthrough at the same time, you get an idea of this. So I've got a four. Uh, let's consider things where I can go. Let's just go for here so I don't actually block anything off. So if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button as well. And you'll see the latest videos first. That's more videos by GameRight, more videos on Lip and Rights, more videos by many other publishers I've got. 50 plus that uh, I've got a spreadsheet to do. So I've got another four here. And as you can see, I've already put a four, so I know it's gonna be a four again. Uh, this time I could start working these guys together because they kind of work collaboratively. The downside is you never know when you're gonna get another transfer card coming up. And then we have a six. So six is a reshuffle card. So if you can, you can draw up to six things. I'm gonna to choose to put a six here. So some things you might be extending along, some things you won't. Now, I've only got two more to do on that one, which is good. You're going to shuffle all these back in. So there's other cuts of cards in here as well. You're going to have cards, so another transfer. You've got a couple of these skips twos. You have a skip three, and you have a, uh, a free one. When you have a free one, you put it anywhere you like, but you don't have to mark it off here. So it's very tight along here, and apparently it's a rare chance that you could get more things coming out uh, to play the board. So I have a four. So I could choose to finish this off and just use stop as much as you can get. 
Uh, I'm thinking this pink one looks good, three, four, because if I had a five, I'd get stopped after four things. So please note, be careful where you don't wipe things off. Another shuffle. So this is great for me because I can do one, two, three. Yes, I'll do a six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I circle that and I know it's easier to count that way. Now, anybody else who's playing, you could say the pink line. I just say the number. It's much easier to say the number. Because if you say the number, oh, sorry, the letter, people will know exactly which thing you're referring to. So now I've got the three. If I have any mistakes, please check the comments or please put it in the comments or uh, maybe something in the description that I might have fulfilled. Um, orange, so one is all I could put in because I'm going to hit an intersection where something else has been. Uh, red, one, two, three. So I could go here with red. Now the trouble is one, two, three. It's helping out the other lines. It's helping out my green line, but I'm going to help to use yellow to get down here and hopefully get a free thing potentially. And we have a four. I think blue looks good now. One, two, three, four. Again, I'm not overly thinking this. I'm just showing you examples. It takes about eight minutes when I play it solo. It's uh, under 20 minutes. Uh, the other side of the board is slightly more crunchier, lots more intersections, so you're going to get stuck a lot more. So two. Um, again, I don't know if I need to um, jump over things. I only need one here to complete red, but it's easier to do something else. Do you know what? I'll do it now. So... Put in a two, not skipping again, completing red. So I say, hello, I've completed red. Going again, five, um, completed pink. So I'll make sure I don't look at pink anymore. That's gonna be annoying, because uh, I can only put one in there. I've got uh, one there for that. Uh, so this is where it gets tricky. You're gonna get, start getting stuck. I'm gonna just go for down here. So five, here's an example of an inefficient turn, which happens a lot in this game. So five, which is gonna stop me here, and just do one X, two X. And again, it means I can't put any more for the green, the dark greens, unless I put one in there and I've gotta go for the free zones. Still haven't had one of them. Uh, so I can't use the green things for I. Um, I think I might just do this one, the H and complete it. Only two things though. We have blue, so if you follow the blue line, I can only put one in there. The yellow line, I can only put a couple in there. In fact, one in there, and green line, I can stick it here. So green, I'll do. So put in a three, and go one, two, three. Again, some things help other things, but at the same time, they can hinder it. I have a four now, so similar to before, um, have I helped myself at all with this? With a green line, uh, duh, 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 duh. oh, I have, but I've, I can't do the green because it's full off. Uh, four, so let's check this again. Green, green, green. Yes, I think I might complete the green line. So do a four, complete that off, and then I've got this one. As you can see, I've completed it, but I still have an X. So if I can't go, something's gonna go there. Two. Um, Orange helps me a little bit here, but I think, oh, here we go. I, it looks like I had I skipped something here, it looks like. Let's do it, let's do it then. So two, I think the thing would have been better. One, two, I think the three skip. Four, um, let's see where purple goes. Purple, one, so I really want to get those ones done. Orange, let's just do orange. Ah, that's good. So I get all of these. And that's orange three, doesn't really matter. It's just an idea of where you kept up the track. Pardon the pun, the word track. Three, and we have purple still to do. We've got green left. Um, blue is not looking great. I need some skips. I'm gonna go for purple because I give myself more options for drawing to do blue. So purple just gives me one X. I have to stop, there's nothing else to go. I have a transfer, oh dear. It's the first empty thing coming along. Well, we know that's all finished. Yellow, I only get two points. Blue, um, I get two points. So it's gonna have to be purple and stick it. Oh, that's a shame. Purple or yellow. Let's do purple, even though it's the same amount of points. 
So purple goes here, and at least it gives me four points. Okay. Three skip. Oh, this could be good, because blue or yellow. Uh, no, it's kind of to be blue. So put a three there and do one, two, three. Five points. A transfer again. Uh, all I can stick it in is this one or that's one. That's completed. I can't put a line through it there, so I think I've got to go here and just get two points. And I need this zero zone card. Please be a zero zone. Didn't see one. Okay, and put a line through there. And that ends the game. So this must have been the zero card. So again, you can go any way you like. And you don't have to cross it off. That would have been a free turn. So uh, that is it. Let's look at the final score. So what do I have in front of me? I have got um, total points. So I've got 2, 6, 13, 18, didn't complete this one, or this one, 18, 23, uh, 23 points. Oh, that's a shame, I could do that one. 23, I should really have probably gone for that, so I can have 30. So 23, I think it was, let's just double check that. 6, 13, 18, 23. Transfers, so I'll make it easier to see. 4, 8. Looks like that's all it was for transfers. Oh, here we go. 12, that's 14. Empties, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11, 11 on here is minus 5. So all you write on here is 5. And then you have 23 plus this, that's going to be 37. Minus that is 32 points. And there you have it, my final score is 32 points in the solo game. What is that worth? Well, 32 is you are at an advanced level. So there you go, try and beat your best score possible. Easy to wipe off, as you can see, uh, nicely uh, precise pens and very fine um, marking erasers as well. And in terms of what I think of this game, I give this game an eight out of 10. I think it's my third favorite roll and write. So it's my... Uh, favorite flip and fill in fact my favorite favorite flip and write and favorite rail and write game so there you have it if you like this like i say please check out other videos i'm doing and hopefully something might be of interest including this all the best bye for now